with your hair? Looks nice. You know, today I want to talk about something extremely important to email marketing, and that's getting those emails delivered. Would you like to know more? Come on. Getting your emails to the people that you're sending them to is obviously something very key to email marketing. Because if you're sending a lot of messages out and they're all getting caught in a spam filter, there's really no point to doing any email marketing at all. So what can you do and what should you avoid to get those emails through? We'll talk about that today. First off, let's talk about those do's. Number one, have your customers opt in. If you start sending a bunch of emails out to people and it goes to a Gmail or a Hotmail uh, and people start marking your messages as spam, you're going to have a big problem because those email providers are going to see all your emails as spam that go out. So make sure that people are opting in and they're getting messages that mean something to them. That's, that's key. Uh, second, good places to send your email from. Number one, your personal email address. If you're sending out emails, and in our tool you can make it look like emails are coming from your email address, even though they're going off of our servers, that's going to be a great way for you to get that message out, but never really look like spam because it's an individual user account. Also, any topical addresses. And this could be if you're a ski company, maybe skis. Uh, let's say you're in the mortgage business, you could have, uh, this one might be a little tricky because mortgage uh, has a bit of spam around it, but uh, maybe mortgage agent something like that. Uh, and finally, your business name. So for us at Kutenda, we could send them out from Kutenda at Kutenda.com. Uh, finally, uh, when you create your email, write the text within it in a conversational manner and really make sure that you have text. And really the fundamental here is that you want to make sure that your text to image to code ratio is, is looking good. If you think of a normal email that you'd send on a one-to-one -one basis to an individual, you can have a lot of text in there usually hardly any images, if no images uh, at all, and the code is going to be fairly simple around it. If you go and you start sending out promotional emails and they're just completely all images, or you just have a ton of coding behind as far as uh, trying to make the style of the, the email look right, uh, and just very little text, some spam filters are going to see that and just kind of know this is some sort of promotional or spam email, and they're, they're not going to deliver it through. So make sure you have text on that email, uh, and make sure that, that you're doing a good job of, of having a lot of text there as compared to images or any coding that you might possibly be using. On the don't side, uh, the big one here is to send from proper email addresses. Again, we talked about the good ones to send from, but on the bad side, ones to know that uh, some people might not think about is something like info at, whatever your domain is, webmaster at, uh, marketing at, sales, contact, and anything that seems a little bit spammy. You think of sort of the spam words that uh, you receive email for, and anything that could fall into that space of uh, spammy looking email addresses. Uh, in the email text and subject, you're going to want to avoid spam words. And really, if you want to see what good spam words are, just go to your spam box in your email and just start looking at all those emails. Uh, obviously, anything that sounds possibly adult in nature, uh, poker, something like that, any gambling, um, also, medications is a big spam area. Uh, you just want to think about, are the words that I'm using in my email similar to uh, any of the words that might trigger a spam filter? Another thing to do is avoid multiple characters. Uh, you might look in your spam box and see a lot of emails that are using maybe a bunch of at signs, uh, exclamation points, things of that sort to uh, kind of make those email messages stand out a lot of times. But Spam filters really onto, onto that concept and they are looking for those things to filter them out. Um, also, if you're overusing images, again, this comes back to that text image code ratio. Uh, if you're just using a ton of images and no text, really that, that is a big signal for uh, a spam filter to say, okay, this, this might and probably is a spam email. Um, going along with that excessive use of DHTML and CSS, uh, if you're using a ton of code, if you're trying to make uh, cool little drop downs happen within the email, it's almost immediate uh, that, that those, uh, that's going to be taken out and thrown into spam. Uh, and that kind of connects with no scripting languages. If you're trying to use JavaScript in an email, something like that, most likely that's never going to get through. So keep those emails uh, conversational, consistent, uh, limit your use of images. Of course, it's fine to use those images, uh, have 
you know, buttons to convert and make sure that you're pushing people towards conversion. But really keep in mind these don'ts. Uh, because if you are sending out a ton of, me of messages and most of them are getting caught in spam filters, uh, you're not doing your customer a service of keeping them up to date on what you're selling and what you're doing. And also, uh, you're just kind of wasting your time. So that's email deliverability. Hopefully that helped you out and uh, we'll see you again soon.